Greetings, welcome or welcome back. I am Goddess Dawn and I'm here today, January 24th, Thursday, 2019, to talk to you about Roshana Landfair. Roshana Landfair, in case you are unaware, is the underage victim that was said to be in the sex tape um, that R. Kelly went to trial for back in 2002. He was acquitted in 2008. Um, because she nor her parents showed up for the trial, as well as prior to the trial, they all denied it was her in the tape. Um, they were not able to try him on the counts of it, to be exact. So because she was not there to testify, nor her parents, and they denied that it was her, that's pretty much why he got off. So um, there were jury members that spoke up and said that, you know, because of her absence, they just didn't wash for them. And um, it just made everything just less credible. And then also they couldn't bring up a lot of the past indiscretions and abuses of the other girls who had accused him and had filed lawsuits and things, statutory rape, which would then allow for those questions and that information to be brought forth. But because that wasn't the case, the judge um, disallowed any evidence or any information about those other girls and um, all the other indiscretions and abuses and deviances. All those things were kept under wraps for this trial, which it just in itself was criminal. So um, the reason I'm even doing this today is because, uh, number one, it's my two-week anniversary on the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for, for being here and for hopefully you subscribed and maybe we've chatted in the comments. Um, nevertheless, I came across an article on theblast.com and the title of the article is R. Kelly's sex tape victims' parents have faced years of financial hardship since singer's acquittal. And this was just posted today. And it was very interesting to me because uh, it was my understanding that the parents were paid off um, they were definitely in the south of France for about six months during the trial with um, Roshana. Just assumed, you know, they were living the life. Like, who's going to sell their child to this predator? And she's still with him today. So you really just gave up your child. Um, so I would think that you're doing that. You're living in the lap of luxury. You have no worries at all. Life is just a bowl of cherries. But apparently that isn't the case. They have been struggling on record um, since 2008. Um, it's 2019, so you do the math. The article on theblast.com does detail a lot of the debt, the bankruptcies, um, unpaid bills, past due credit card balances, thousands of dollars to Sears and other department stores. Like, this is how you look. They're not paying any bills. They went through a couple of bankruptcies and had um, charge-offs on both successfully. Um, they tried to do a third, but um, by law, they couldn't do it at the time because they had just had one and you have to wait at least eight years. So I did the um, meditation, which gave me some insight as to um, who Roshana is today. And then um, I pulled some cards. So let's go through the meditation. The first thing that came through was that she's vile, just nasty attitude, very angry and mean. Um, she's buried. Um, I just got a vision of her being buried under like clothes and, and things like she was just like a piece of furniture. Um, she's disrespected. She does walk around with the false confidence, snaps and pops her neck a lot. Big talk is broken, damaged, forgotten, crazy. She throws tantrums, um, out of anger. She has angry outbursts. She definitely doesn't know who she is. Um, she's been stripped down and rebuilt several times over by this monster. She does walk around still with a brave face. She is embarrassed about the public's knowledge of her, um, meaning the sex tape. She wants better or more for herself, but at the same time, she doesn't. Kind of like a pig and shit. Um... She does deal with uh, self-loathing, says so she feels thrown away. She wants to be left alone. She wants to escape. 
There is abuse, physical abuse, and there is physical damage. Um, and lastly, this came through as a stolen life. Like her life was definitely was stolen from her, which is really sad. Well, the cards that came through were interesting. So just go ahead and go through those as well, just to get some more insight. I pulled nine cards. The first card that came through was the power card. And this card represents someone powerful who is aware of their power and knows how to work the system. So we know that's definitely our Kelly. The next card that came through is Five of Swords. This card represents an uncomfortable truce or defeat, struggle with the situation. And that sounds like Roshana. Um, the next card that came through is the Isis card. And this card means, um, and it was reversed, and the meaning of the reversed Isis card is a need to control and secrecy. Hmm. Next is the Three of Cups. This card represents a celebration involving women, peace between family, generations, a reason to celebrate. So, sounds to me like um, the secrecy is trying to be a uh, control over the secrecy. And then finally, there's a celebration involving women. Doesn't say it's her, just says involving women. So, um, because I don't know, I feel like she wouldn't be celebrating to go home. It does, I don't think she doesn't have access to her parents or her family. But this celebration definitely um, also came up in the Aaliyah reading when giving her insight on the situation. So I do feel that there is some type of a, a, break, a breakthrough with the girls. Um, the next card is the Six of Cups reversed. And the meaning of this card is the need to incorporate the past and perhaps painful memories into the present. And what this card says to me, it sounds like either like some type of confession or even maybe a trial on stand for a trial. And hopefully that is the case. That would be a real big, um, a real big deal if that is the case. Um, the next card is the Four of Pentacles. This card represents wealth, prosperity, stabilizing of material forces, family inheritance, maybe. What that says to me is there's some type of uh, payout or profit or maybe even um, just money's coming in for some type of story. Maybe she's selling her story. The next card is the Six of Swords. This card represents new knowledge that helps one move beyond current limitations the lessening of difficulties and travel. So this sounds like some news is going to come in, maybe a conviction um, for R. Kelly, this new knowledge that comes in to help her move beyond the limitations she's uh, been under, lessening of difficulties. So um, something's going to come in to um, give her some type of an awakening of some sort. The next card is the Prince of Cups, and that's reversed, meaning is disillusion with relationship that promised more substance. So sounds to me like she's probably still struggling with a loss of the relationship. She thought she was going to get more out of it over all these years, and it didn't happen. Uh, the final card is the Queen of Cups reversed. The meaning of the Queen of Cups reversed is overwhelmed by emotions that need sorting, need to take control of these feelings. So it sounds like the, a lot of emotions are coming to the surface. Um, there's a need to um, deal with these emotions. It says control here, take control of them. Uh, sounds to me like some type of therapy, maybe. Let's hope that's the case. I appreciate you coming through again. Subscribe, like, comment, and um, I'll see you next time. Peace.